Queensland faces a stark choice, sell assets or pay higher taxes and forego new hospitals, schools and roads. That blunt warning was issued by Premier Campbell Newman and his Treasurer in Toowoomba. Along with the prediction the state will run out of new spending money within three years. At the LNP State Council in Toowoomba, they passed around a bucket seeking donations for drought-hit farmers. The way the Premier spoke, they'll soon need bucket loads of cash for the whole state. But there's still this big black cloud that hangs over Queensland. A dark cloud of debt, a Labor legacy, the LNP says amounts to an $80 billion black hole that could swallow future development. The Premier did the numbers. That debt is costing four hundred and fifty thousand dollars an hour. Treasurer Tim Nichols reckons Queensland's got about three years till the money for any new spending runs out. And we've gone as far as we can with our current level of capital. Selling state-owned assets like power generators and ports now firmly on the election agenda. That's the conversation that we want to have with Queenslanders this year. That Queenslanders don't want assets sold. The Premier says he will listen. We're not saying that these assets have to go. But that, he says, would mean this. To sadly have to put up fees and charges and taxes. After the State Council gathering here in Toowoomba this weekend, the hard sell begins. Over the next three months, key players like the Premier and Treasurer Tim Nichols will travel all over the state telling Queenslanders about the choice they face. This goes to the fundamental financial and economic future of the state of Queensland. For Wilmington, Nine News.